Oregon Bigfoot. Back again. Check out this little area. This forest is so much different than the one I'm rolling in. Look at this bend. And you got the draping over it. It goes into an X. You got some big structures back there. Man, I've been walking for two miles. I have no idea where I'm at. Look at this thing. You know, it breaks right there, comes up to there. It's all the way down to there, huh? And then this tree bends between these. Then you got your triangle right there. This is definitely from them. This is definitely an area where they're at. Look at that X, it's huge. I love it. It is such a beautiful X. I found this sign too. Yeah, man, I mean, it's brutal. Ugh, I've been walking forever, and all I see is like an occasional leaner, like a break here and there, but nothing. I'm just like, come on, guys, guide me, just show me where your area is. Even if it's nothing huge, just a spot. This made the whole, the whole trip worth it right here. That X is beautiful. I mean, it's just, I know it's them because that one's pushed and that one's pushed right into it and it makes an X right there, an X there, and if you go around the other side, it's an X up at the top. And then you got your break going right into it. You got your small X at the bottom, you got an X behind it, another double X, an X right there. So I'm trying to multitask. See, right there. What is that? But yeah. Thank you. It's starting to go crazy. Like, are you serious? Like, I can find them everywhere in my other area I'm normally in. It's just like, stuff's everywhere. This is mainly a normal forest. You won't even find a tree on the ground. I mean, the tree structures are such an important thing. I mean, you have to start with the tree structures if you're doing the subject. You have to start with the structures. Otherwise, what are you doing? Otherwise, you're just walking through the woods. Instead, I'm walking through the woods like a drange lunatic looking for tree structures. I got my tinfoil hat on and everything. Fairies! <laughs> That show, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, I remember when I was a kid, I feel like I'm Crocker, the teacher. He's always like, fairies are real, I know it. <laughs> I'm like, Bigfoot are real, I know it. And I think fairies are real also. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I love being mentally insane. Well, that was about it. And there's a lot of bends, a lot of bends, breaks. I honestly don't even really know where I'm at. I, I'm pretty sure the road's that way, the main road, but I'm gonna end up like three miles down it where I parked and I'm gonna have to walk three miles to my van. Cause there's no way I'm gonna be able to find that road I parked my van on without finding the main road. Cause I mean, I have zigzagged up and down for two hours maybe, two and a half hours. But ah, I ain't worried. I just wish I would've brought water. I'm really thirsty. Idiot. Check this out. Here we go. I don't think this area is active right now though. I have zero vibes in here at all. I mean, that tree was pushed last year into this big X. Broke. Man, I really do feel like a what do you call it? Like a, I think Mark even said it. A surfer looking for that next big wave. 
I'm looking for that next big structure. It's like just being human, it's never enough, right? <laughs> you just want more and more and more. It'll never be good enough. Even if we probably found out exactly what we're doing out here, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, ugh. that was a big spider web. Right in my mouth. Gotta love it. I do it because I love it. It's like there's a structure. I'm going the wrong way, huh? Yep, I need to go this way. I have something saying I need to go down here. This isn't the right way. Okay. I had six more minutes on my card to filming. So I'll, I'll take you through the next six minutes through this woods. Man, I just love watching videos of people walking through the forest at night. It's like the best thing to watch before you go to bed. It's like I'm out there, but I'm not. But I'm not. This forest is structured. Not. Man, there were some areas I was in today. And I found a couple of big mountain lion tracks too. But man, like going through like the reprod, re where like the newer forest after they log are growing, you literally can't see more than four feet in front of your face. And that's where a cougar is gonna jump out and grab you. Those are like the sketchiest times when you're out here, I feel like. Or like right now, I, it would take like a half a second for me to draw my gun. That. that clicking. What is that? Something's clicking right there. what that is. I've never heard that. It's not a woodpecker. I'm gonna ignore it. And then this is where Dogman jumps out and grabs me. I'd be okay with it. The only thing I'd be mad about is my family would miss me. Other than that, that'd be the, probably the best way to go. Got eaten by Dogman. Now look at this. I love the chaos in here. This other guy I was with yesterday is just like, this is stupid. Chaos. He's like, how, how are you going to, you know, talk about this? It's just wind. Just snow. It's like, really? The wind and snow makes like 50 perfect X's like within 10 feet of each other? Weird. Well, why isn't it everywhere else? I could, I could show you everywhere that there's not X's. Look at this. Oh, I'm zoomed. My bad. Feel gold. Alright, I have 2 minutes 45 seconds left of video. Alright, well, let's make it good. I hope I find the main road. I 
no, it's this way. I have a really good internal compass. The, the first time I ever encountered a Sasquatch, which was really what made me start coming out here, I, I must have gotten zapped because I had no idea where I was. I somehow had walked like an hour and had no recollection of it. I was turned around and I, that was like literally the only time I was like thinking I was lost and it was going to be bad. It was snowing, I couldn't find my tracks. It was actually a pretty scary moment. Then I get back to my van and I found some of the biggest footprints I've ever seen in my life. And I regret it to this day not taking photos. But I was too scared. I literally hopped in my van and dipped out as fast as I could. Because it was dark when I got back. And it was snowing. One more minute left. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Oh well, that made it worth it though, that one little area. Ah! Spider in my shirt. He's trying to rape me. He's trying to get up in my titties. Nah, I ain't got titties. No titties for me. All right, looks like I'm out of memory. I need to go get a big memory card. All right, over and out. Enjoy the video. Have a good night. Later.